Hello, and welcome back to High Life Low Life. And today, we're going to start playing with the snorkel. So, I'm going to start by taking the airbox out. Just one screw here, one bolt down there, and take off the uh, sensor here. So, I'll You gotta take your air filter out because there is one more bolt right there. And it looks like we have a little bump on it there. I wonder what that goes to. free there's a little bolt in the bottom it's just little rubber grommets there and there now you can see the space the snorkel's gonna go through so that's where that little plastic pipe that came with the kit will sit and that'll hook on to the end of here right. and then uh can take the inner arch out Again, which is screw there, screw there, screw there, screw there, screw there, screw there, and one screw and under there. And there is a couple of plastic poppers. There's one there. There's another one around somewhere. But we'll find that in a minute. And that will give us access to the underside of this. So we can get our pipe up in there. Nice and easy. Now I'll clean the wing off. Do the template. And um, yes, commit myself to making big holes. Here is the of it, which is 86 mil. And should hopefully be about the same size. Look at that. Beautiful. So big hole in my nice wing. I'm going to get the wheel off, that bit, and then uh, and the arch out and I'll show you what it's all then. <laughs> so that is the inner arch out. You can see the hole where this tube is going to end up like that. Bit of foam out. Yeah. So it's just gonna mount up in there. Nice and easy. Cool. That pipe goes on there. And this pipe goes up in there. Like that. And then comes out our hole, which will be about that. Some of these stencils come out with a come with a cutout just there, uh, where your indicator would be. Um, one, I don't have an indicator in the wing. Two, stencil doesn't have a cutout. But I have seen, when looking how to do this online, that some come with that indicator cutout to help you align it all, which would make sense, I guess.
No going back now. Where is the skateboard? Oh, there's the skateboard. Oh, if we go out, we can get it. Get it. We'll get it if we go out. Right, that's all the holes there punched. Time to drill. Draw a mark to roughly where I think I need a file to. Probably the bottom of my tape, I'm honest. The sides are alright, but it's down there. And so, like that. So, I will file. No, I have a Dremel. So my hole's a little way off. much better. Now we're going to make sure all the bolts fit, which they won't. Because we cut bolts. Get one right, we can put the template back on and uh, get 
them all right. Another day, um, because I didn't finish the other night. We're at a different location as well. So I've, um, what I'd uh, done when I left was just attach that pipe to the airbox and bolted it all back up. But now that we're back, I have just attached the plastic pipe, which I've just jubilee clips down there. I'm going to stick all that in so it's then solidly mounted. And then I'm going to work out the snorkel, the last parts. So I've just test fitted the snorkel up and then made the holes bigger. And uh, that's the one I uh, drilled the second time. And actually, these three are okay. This one landed right in the middle of the two I drilled. So I'm uh, just got a flat disc on the end of my, uh, my drill. I'm uh, just going to tidy up behind all the holes, tidy up this, and uh, well, do all the edges. And then, hopefully, fit the snorkel up. That pipe, that one there, I had to push right on to uh, <laughs> onto that. Because it's a, yeah, it just didn't want to seat right. Um, and yeah, it's in me hole. It actually fits much better now than it did the other day. Which is good. My wallowed out hole. When I put the snuggle on, it's actually a little bit away from that, but I'm hoping when I tighten those up that it's not a problem anymore. So now I've got my my lovely primer pen I'm just to go around all the edges of the holes with the primer pen. And that's what I'm getting rusting. Inside and out. I got my uh, sealant. Just gonna run a load around in there. So when I put that on, it creates a nice seal. So you can see my uh, my wonderful siliconing skills. Now I'm just gonna unscrew each of these. It's about to rain, so put a dribble of Loctite in there. I ain't coming out. Let's screw that back in. So in this one. Just off. All of them. And then I'll uh, stick it on. Here it goes. Those are all loctited in. And uh, yeah. What I'll do is once I've got them in, and that one's tight. That one's tight. These two I can get to, so I can tighten the little allen bits and then get the nuts on there because the front one certainly is a little bit far away from its hole but we'll get there in a second so let's put it on. to go in. That's looking pretty good to me. See? Fit up quite nicely in the end. I thought there was going to be a massive gap right there. But actually, it looks pretty good. I'm very happy. 
And for 65 quid, I think it was, 65 pound, I think it's very good. So, just make sure they're all tight. The airbox is back on, so I'll put the filter in, put the airbox back together, uh, drill those three holes, put the three rivets in, pop the safari snorkel bit on. That'll be the last part piece de resistance. I think I will start by marking off my three holes, drill them, rivet them with a bit of sealant because I don't want to make rust. Yeah, and, uh, I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so we are losing light now. But we're all riveted there. We'll just put the bolts back in. And uh, because I'm going to run out of light, let's show you what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Pathfinder with the snorkel. There we go, it's a bit brighter. Snorkel on my Pathfinder, oh yeah. I got a snorkel on my Pathfinder, oh yeah. Right, so all I gotta do is there is a screw here. This one, this one. Oh gosh, that screw there. It's gonna drill up through the two plastic bits. You probably can't see that. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow when it's a bit brighter. But I will tighten that up, do the bolts there, and she's good to go. Hello, and welcome back to another day okay. on the snorkel. But it's on, it's, it's, it's there. So last night I did just stick that screw in. So just in there is a screw. I did last night. Um, so all I've got to do now is put the arch back in, um, seal up the airbox inside, and fit the last three bolts up there because it, it just got too dark too quick. I put my wheel back up. I need to give it a test drive. Yeah, almost done. Sealing up the uh, the airbox here. Uh, I just put a bit of tape behind the bigger holes. So it just encompasses it. You can see did all those little where the clips went. A little bottom drain hole. And then the two where the other clips went. And that is silicon in the airbox. So, I actually changed my mind about the um, the rivets. I didn't like them. So I put some rivet nuts in and siliconed it all. And now, I think it looks lovely. It's in. Yeah, snorkel. If you liked this episode, it might be a little bit long-winded, but it's, it was, I don't know if it's the kit or me or lack of instructions. I think the lack of instructions really irritated me a bit because, you know, you cut the hole roughly where you think it's going to be according to that template, but that template is really, really bad. It's, it really wasn't a good template and there were no instructions with it. But, it was 65 quid and it looks awesome. Other kits I've seen do have a foam pad. It goes on the inside, stop going against the metal. And same for the plastic bit. This didn't come with that. But, like I said, 65 quid opposed to 150, I think the other one is. The more expensive, better one. The branded one. Let's say the branded one. Um, but, up pretty good. If I do say so myself, it's all in there. I like it. And I look forward to taking it off the road, which is where she should be, in the mud. Um, like I said, next time I might be finishing the roof wreck. I also have a black box to do. 
still undecided about the light box. So I want to finish the refrac before I decide to make mounts for the 52-inch um, light bar. But measuring my refrac length to length, I think it's about 48 inches. So I don't think it's going to fit on the refrac. So I'll just have to build some brackets. But that's for another day. Please like, subscribe, and thanks for watching High Life, Low Life. Catch you later. Oh,